Dzień dobry, cześć, and hello. Today, guys, I'm going to be sharing the seven shocking things about Poland when I first went over to Poland. So these are kind of some of the things that really surprised me when I first went over to Poland, and I figured I might as well share this list with you because it's kind of special to me, and I'm sure some of you who are going to travel to Poland could also hear this list. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so number one on my list might sound obvious to a lot of people, but it's quality of food. Okay, so how do I say this? Most of the food there just seems to have this overall better quality of a taste. It seems like, for example, the vegetables were picked at the right time and grown properly, and it tastes like the meat has almost a better quality to it. So I think European countries have this higher standard to cooking and harvesting foods, and I really think that equates to overall a better meal. And also a bit of a side note, McDonald's in Poland is much better than in the States. I don't know how to really describe it because it's hard for me to tell you the taste, but it's just overall better. It really tastes more real. In the States, it just looks so plain and bland, and it also tastes that way too. But in Poland, it tastes much better, like the burgers, the Big Macs, all of that. It's just, I don't know, it's just much better. But I have talked to a couple Polish people who also work at McDonald's, and they say the same thing that we have a problem with here, which is that no one cleans the ice cream machine. So I think like the ice cream machines just never get cleaned worldwide. I think that's just like a common thing now. But yeah, the food is just much better overall. All right, number two on this list is hearing and seeing the language. Now, I'm completely not used to Slavic languages. Now, you can ask most Americans, they're used to more of the romantic languages, mainly Spanish. And yeah, I mean, seeing and hearing Polish was almost mind boggling to me. But I really, really enjoy the sound of Polish. I really like the Polish language a lot. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just me personally, but I really like to see and hear the language. I really think it sounds really cool. And I've told people this before, but it kind of sounds like this Italian slash Portuguese mix with a Slavic language. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. And a side note on this one, I think it's like the second most hardest language for an English speaking person to learn, I'm pretty sure. And the amount of consonant clusters to see in the language is just crazy. I mean, it's really hard for English people to pronounce the words and really kind of get into the zone with the language, but it is possible. And there's tons of people who have learned Polish and can speak it fluently. So just remember, it's always possible to still learn. I'm in the never ending process of it myself. All right, so number three on this list is that Poland is such a safe country. And this really shocked me. Like you can go out at night and feel completely comfortable if you're a guy or a girl. I mean, you could just go out at night and you are not gonna get bothered by anyone. No one's gonna pester you. The only thing with that I would say is that sometimes there are some random drunk people and with that, you know, if they're intoxicated on a substance, you don't know what they're going to do. I've had a few run-ins with some drunk people in Poland. For instance, here's a small story. I was in an ice cream store getting ice cream and this drunk guy comes in and he's basically like throwing slurs at people, going up to their tables and talking to them. And he didn't throw punches or anything like that, but he did get kicked out. But that's really the only crazy thing I've seen in Poland is like a drunk person going crazy. I've never seen them, you know, hitting people or throwing things at all but i mean you just never know with drunk people in the first place but besides that poland is such a safe country and i've never had to worry about anything ever and even at some of the bus stops and bus stations that look a little bit sketchy i've never had an issue ever so don't be an american or westerner and think that there's going to be some evil polish guy named janusz sitting at the corner or, you know, at the bazaar, the like the markets saying, you know, yakis problem, you know, what's the problem or something like that. You know, it's just not going to happen there. So just don't worry. It's a safe country. Go to it. OK, so this may sound weird to some people, but the old towns in Poland, Stary Miasto, honestly, to me, seem like an amusement park. They it looks like Disney World or something like that. It, it looks like this beautiful preservation of history, and it really feels like you're going back in time to the old town. And most cities have old towns. Some of them are kind of the same as others, but some of them just have these extremely unique features. In Gdańsk, you can see these incredible Gothic architectures, 
of the buildings and the churches and these long narrow side streets with these just beautiful views and colors on the walls i mean it's just absolutely beautiful and it's something you really have to see in any polish town that you go to okay so number five on this list is that polish people are really wholesome and honest number one to me they seem like they like americans a lot so you know you're not going to go there and expect them to honestly just dislike you because of the politics of your country or whatnot like you're not going to have that problem they're typically going to like americans overall so i wanted to say that but there's also this thing with polish people where you really know if they're happy or not like polish people don't put on this facade or you know this fake mask like americans tend to do where you know it's like oh how are you doing oh i'm doing great you know everything's joyful and stuff it's not like that in poland people are just straight up and to the point if they're having a bad day they're gonna tell you that and if they're having a good day they're gonna tell you that and if they're happy to meet you they're gonna show you that so just bear that in mind and a side note with this one is that polish people aren't like a southern town in the states they're not gonna you know go up to you oh hey how are you doing you know hold the door open and you know they don't have that southern charm but they do have the southern hospitality and they're you know like i said they're not going to go up to you or like you know say hi how are you doing as you walk by them down the street like you can see in america but they're still extremely nice people once they open up all right so number six on this list is the clean transportation okay i was actually really shocked by this because i went into warsaw and we go into like the tunnel in the the metro i guess it's called and we were taking the train from like an area of warsaw to another area of warsaw and it was so clean and quiet it, it was insane i was thinking wow like this must be brand brand new and you know coming from like the new york city metro i mean that place looks like a dump compared to the metro in poland i mean it's just absolutely clean and also people are just really courteous and respectful of each other and i don't know it was awesome it was a really cool experience okay so leading on to the last point there with transportation is that the accessibility of public transportation in poland is honestly something that really shocked me okay so as most people are aware the public transportation in the u.s really sucks now some towns and some cities it's actually okay and it's pretty good but overall and in general it's pretty bad okay so now the public transportation in poland will take you anywhere like you can go from any little small town typically to anywhere in Poland pretty easily by bus by train I mean whatever you want like there's so many different options and it's really easy to for example if you're getting onto a city bus you can change the language to English if you want or even I think Russian as well and I mean it's just really easy to access and kind of get through where you're going and leading on with that most people also speak a little bit of English so if you're having trouble you can always ask but yeah all the videos you watched before we got to all of the towns we did through public transportation we took buses we took trains and we got everywhere we ever wanted to we never really had any issues at all and it's also pretty affordable too now not just with public transportation in poland but also if you wanted to fly from poland to go to any other european country it's super easy it's super cheap and there's also lots of airports there's not just warsaw chopin airport there's like so many different other airports i know katowice gdańsk krakow Łódź, like so many other ones uh lublin even so you really shouldn't have any trouble taking a cheap flight to really any other european country all right guys that was the seven things that shocked me when i first went over to poland so if you feel like you have anything else you wanted to add to this list then just comment down below and as always stay tuned for the next one